Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel and today is a topic that is really near and dear to my heart and my intention is to really help you. If any of you are struggling with anxiety, um, these are some of the strategies that I've used over the years that have really, really helped me. Um, I don't even know if I've really talked about it much on this channel, I might have mentioned it, but I probably haven't gone into great detail about what it really was like for me. So probably now, I want to say it was like maybe like 13, 14 years ago. Um, that was when I was at the peak of my struggles with anxiety and when I knew I absolutely had to get help because I couldn't go on the way I was going on. Um, I was not sleeping. I was having panic attacks that were so scary. Actually, you know, I remember one like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Um, I, I felt like I was going to die. I mean, I was just like, I, 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 like, I, I'm dying. Like that's what it felt like. It was it was absolutely awful. I've never experienced, nor do I ever want to experience anything like that ever again. Um, like I said, I couldn't sleep, I, and I just had this like internal feeling of just like this. You know, like it, for me, it always would show up very much like a physical sensation of just this kind of internal like shake. Um, you know, mind racing things like that. So it was really really tough. Um, but I didn't really know what it was. But here's the thing, you know, if you struggle with anxiety, I just want to let you know, like, you are not alone. Um, studies show that one in five adults over the age of 18 struggle with anxiety, and uh, one in three 13 to 18 year olds have anxiety disorders. And that to me just makes me like, oh, like, that's so hard. So, this is a conversation that we need to have. I know that, you know, we're starting to open up more to this conversation because it really matters, you know? And I think that there's many reasons why this is happening. Um, I definitely think that social media plays a huge, huge factor in it for all of us. You know, when I personally was going through it, um, I was just in a bad relationship. I was going through a breakup. Like, do you ever have one of those breakups when you're like, hey, I have a great idea. Let's like break up over like two years. Like, sounds like a great idea, right? So I was in one of those situations and it just was so awful. So, you know, the struggle is real. It is, it is something that I'm so glad that the conversation is coming up so much more. And the good news is that there absolutely are things that you can do to help. Now, I wanna start off this video by saying, obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist. Always consult with a doctor or a therapist if you're having any mental health problems or disorders, it's really, really important. But my intention here is to just share with you what I've done and what I use and what really, truly has worked for me, okay? So first and foremost, it's probably not gonna come as a surprise, but it's exercise, you know? Not just because I have a fitness channel here on YouTube, not just because I have a fitness membership, but truly move your body daily. It helps your mental health so, so much. You know, I think about um, the people that I know that are older, older adults that are like happier, healthier, you know, mentally sharp older adults, and they move their bodies, you know? Uh, exercise for me, it's always, always been something that just improves my mood immediately. And I always tell, you know, the, the ladies inside of Total Body Transformation, you know, I work out more for my brain than even for my body at this point. You know, it's really just about me feeling better and being that woman, that wife, that mother that I really want to be, you know? So here's the good news, you know, if you're new here, you might not know this, but you don't have to do these endless hour workouts to get the mental health benefits. You know, um, sh studies show that just, you know, doing a, a shorter workout, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, it's gonna help to decrease your muscle tension, decrease your stress, and increase your serotonin and your GABA, I don't know if that's how you say it, GABA, G-A-B-A, but that's like what makes you feel happy, which makes you feel more pleased inside. You know, um, I always remember back when I was a dancer and I would be like, you know, in high school, having like just such a hard day at school, you know, like for whatever reason, and just feeling really low or feeling really stressed out or feeling some of that anxiety. And then I would go to my ballet class and it was like, Oh, like I just felt so good. But the other reason why it works is because it's going to divert your attention away from whatever the cause is of your anxiety, right? If you're stressed out about, I don't know, a relationship that you're in right now, you can't be thinking 
thinking about the relationship while you're doing the Pilates hundred, right? You know, you can't be thinking about what's causing you that stress while you're in the middle of doing jumping jacks. It just simply doesn't work. So, you know, move your body daily. It really, really helps. Even as little as like 15 to 30 minutes a day, it's gonna make a massive difference for you. And when I was really in my biggest, you know, the highest point of my struggles, that's when I really started leaning into those 30 minute workouts. And not only did my anxiety decrease, but also my body got better. So it was kind of a total, total win-win. So move your body daily. My second huge tip is, you know, to find a good therapist. You know, I'm Italian-American, grew up in a very old school uh, Italian household, and therapy is not something that anyone in my family ever was like, hey, you know, you maybe, maybe should talk to someone about this, like, ever. But good news is I'm a mom now, so that gets to stop with me. Um, I never was like a big therapy person, uh, but at that point I was like, I need some help. And I remember um, one of my actually Pilates students recommended her therapist to me, and he was so great. So my, you know, I'm not a therapy expert um, I, at all, <laughs> um, but what I can tell you this, I've, over the years I've gone to like a couple people here and there, but what I found is that the wrong therapist really doesn't feel good and probably won't see as many benefits, you know, but the right one can really just change everything for you. And so I was just so lucky when I did find the right one um, years and years ago in New York that he really, really helped me. And he was like, look, I, I really think you should be coming once a week. You know, let's do it for, I don't know, we, we did it for a couple of months and then we started tapering it off. I also even like that approach because I was like, look, I'm busy. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna wanna come here all the time. This is like the New Yorker talking, right? Uh, but it really, really did help. So look around, ask around, but you know, here's one thing to remember with therapy, and this therapist told me this, because I said, you know, in the past I was never into therapy, and here's why. And he said, you know, Tracy, you have to remember that you are paying for a service. So even though it might be a doctor or, you know, a licensed professional or whatever, you know, whatever kind of therapist you're seeing, he said, you know, you're paying for a service. So if you don't like the person, you don't connect with them, move on. And for some reason at that point in my life, I really just needed that permission. So find a good therapist that works for you. I promise you it can really, really help. And the next thing that really, really can help to decrease your anxiety and just make you feel better overall is incorporating light therapy into your holistic wellness approach. So a big thank you to Carex because they sponsored this video. You know, using light therapy, it's clinically proven to help you to decrease your anxiety, improve your moods overall, and just make you feel so much better. You know, most of us spend 90% of our time indoors and to make matters even worse, we are constantly giving ourselves blue light, blue light, blue light all the time by our phones, our tablets, our computers, all of the devices that are constantly in our face. Not to mention all of the sites that we are visiting on said devices can really bring up the anxiety in our bodies, right? When you really start paying attention, if you're like scrolling along, you're like, this is not making me feel really good. So when we're not getting enough bright light, what happens is that our circadian rhythms really get disrupted. And when our circadian rhythms are disrupted, we don't sleep well. And when we don't sleep well, well, I don't have to tell you how we all feel, right? We start feeling more stressed. We start feeling more negative. We start feeling overwhelmed. We just feel like we go into that darker, deeper, like more anxious, more stressed out, a more depressive state. And that's why I love using the Daylight Classic Plus. It's so, so easy. All it takes to receive the benefits is 20 to 30 minutes a day in the morning. So you can have your cup of coffee and be answering emails and just boop, put it on. And there's two easy settings that you can use. Uh, there's the therapy setting so that you're really getting that bright light therapy, or you can just use it as a task light, you know, if you just need a little extra light in your room. By using the Daylight Classic Plus, you can improve your mood, you can improve your sleep quality, your, you can improve your feelings of being just more positive overall. It can help to decrease anxiety, fight jet lag, and just make you feel better overall. And I think that we can all agree that that's what we all want, right? So I hooked you guys up because I know it can make such a difference for you too. So enter my discount code TracyC20 and you will get 20% off of your order today. Honestly, it's, it's a great, great product and you know, we all need this. It's one of those things that we don't think we need, but you really do need. So you definitely wanna grab yours today.
The next strategy that really helped me to reduce my anxiety is using a breathing technique. I did not create this breathing technique. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think that Dr. Andrew Weil um, is credited for this technique, but it's really the four, seven, eight breathing. So we'll do a cycle here. But this technique, it helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which basically means like, you're just gonna calm down. And I love doing this whenever like I get in bed and I know it's time for me to go to sleep, like I'm trying to get to bed a little bit earlier and I'll like, I'm lying in bed and I'm like, I'm not tired. It's like, okay, I'll just bring myself through this breathing cycle and it's like, a lot of times it's like, I can't even get through four cycles and I'm already asleep. Um, but definitely you're gonna feel an immediate benefit. So all you do is you inhale for a count of four, you hold it for seven counts, just holding it inside and then you exhale for a count of eight. So it's gonna be like this. Hold it, exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, hold it, exhale. Again. I mean, even just doing that twice. <laughs> um, so what I'd recommend is doing at least four cycles of that and you will just definitely feel a huge, huge uh, decrease in your stress, decrease in your anxiety, and you just feel so much better. And, you know, bonus points, it really, really can help you sleep. So definitely try it, check it out. And when you do, I wanna hear from you. Let me know if it helped you by leaving me a comment down below. My next strategy that really helped, and man, did I really notice this change when I moved to Miami, which was nature, right? Um, it's really challenging to feel stressed out when you're looking at a beautiful ocean view, or it's really difficult to feel, you know, all these feelings of overwhelm when you're just like taking a walk and looking at beautiful trees and green and just in nature. Even if you're in a place right now where it's like, it's snowy and it's cold, breathing that fresh, crisp air, right? It just makes you feel so much better. You know, when I moved down here to Miami after living in New York for over 20 years, I know that this absolutely happened. I felt, I could feel my nervous system recalibrating. And I was a person, I love New York. I mean, I still love New York. I loved living there. I wasn't one of those people that was like, ugh, get me out of here, it's so crazy at all. Like we left for other reasons. My husband got a job down here and we wanted to be closer to his family and just to have, you know, different experience. Um, but when I was down here, like the first month, I could literally feel my nervous system starting to rewire. And I remember being like, wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm like something isn't happening. It's like, no, you just, you're not stressed out, you know? And that is truly because obviously living down here in Florida, I spend so much more time outside. I walk pretty much daily for over an hour a day. You know, I'm going to the parks. I mean, we're lucky it's warm weather all the time. So you're just outside so much more. And that really makes a huge difference. So even if you live in Alaska, right? Or somewhere where it's really cold, still bundle up, get yourself outside, you know, practice some of that. Here, here's a great strategy for you. Practice some of the breathing techniques outside. Take a walk. I promise you, you are going to feel so much better. And my last strategy that, that really helped me, and this is kind of a weird one. This is where we're gonna get a little woo-woo, but we're gonna go there. Um, it's, it's for me, it was like recognizing the anxiety, but not identifying it. Like not identifying with it. So here's what I mean by that. So, you know, for me, my anxiety shows up as like a physical anxiety. So it's kind of, it's hard to describe, but it's like, I'll feel this like feeling. And it's not like it doesn't happen from time to time now. It does way less, but I also know how to recognize it. And I don't think like, oh my God, something's wrong with me. What is happening, right? It's, it's a very different way where I learned, learned to teach my, I've taught myself how to kind of observe it. Kind of like, huh, interesting. I'm feeling some physical anxiety right now, you know, and, and it also, again, it's like that caffeinated feeling. It's like, okay, all right, so that's happening. And it's almost like just looking at it and, and bringing the awareness to it. Like, isn't that interesting? As opposed to like, oh my God, I shouldn't feel this way. So rather than like trying to push it away and negate the fact that it is there, it's just accepting the fact like, okay, I'm feeling some anxiety right now, got it. 
I wonder what I could do in this moment that would make me feel better. All right, do you see? I already just took a deep breath. It's like taking a deep breath, right? Looking at the sky, right? Uh, spending some time in nature. Close the laptop, right? Stop looking at the blue light. Turn on the, the bright light therapy, right? Whatever it is in that moment that's going to make a big difference. So does that make sense? So, so instead of really thinking that you are that feeling that, you, that you're having, you're not. It's just a feeling that you're having and we wanna just recognize it, but not intermesh it or interweave it, was the word I'm looking for, something, with who we are, right? So instead of being like, I am anxious, it's I am having some anxiety right now. Do you get the, that, that slight distinction? So I've kind of just separated anxiety and me, right? Before it'd be like, I'm anxious, which means I am anxious this is who I am. No, I'm having some anxiety right now. I'm feeling some anxiety right now. So it just kind of creates a little bit more space. Again, not a doctor, not a therapist, but it really helps to just release some of that, that, that feeling of stress and pressure and that like, oh my God, you know, all of this is happening right now. So I hope that these strategies really, really help you. And it's really important to me. I mean, I make these videos for you. This is our channel. So I'd love to hear from you. Um, what helps you the most if you've ever struggled with anxiety or if you're having a moment where you're having some anxiety, what do you do? What do you implement? Or if one of these strategies really helps you, I would love to hear from you because again, I make all of this content for you. Again, I want to give a big thank you to Carex for partnering up with me for this video. Remember, 90% of us spend all of our time indoors and we are suffering and struggling because we're not getting enough bright light. So remember you can get 20% off by using my discount code that I've gotten for you, TRACYC20, and you'll get 20% off of your order. So that's what I have for you today. I really appreciate you. I love you. Oh, I love you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.